Sunday morning, back to the boot fairs, back to Pedham Place. Looks a little bit grey at the moment, but it's really nice weather this weekend. Predicted about 23, 24 degrees. We're gonna see what we can find today. My sister is also selling. So I'm gonna have a few things on the stall. I'm gonna have loads of Game Boy Advance games for sale. We've got a Mega Drive console for sale as well. And yeah, see what else we can buy and invest into. About today we're done. It's too early. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Hello! I told you, I was right by the exit. Go on, mate. How you doing? Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's going. Yeah, not bad, man. Mate, I love your stall. <laughs> There's loads. Yeah, I can There's see. Loads. I can see. Right, I didn't get this off of you last time, oh, and I right, want it this mate, time. Yeah. Did you say five here? Yeah? Five here, yeah. Done. All right. Uh, Sorry, mate. We haven't still stalled out yet. No, that's all right. That's all right. I'm we, glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm here before everyone else. Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, Got some He-Man stuff. Oh yes, have a look. Uh, oh, sorry, that's how, how much is that? Uh, these are a tenner, mate. Tenner, yeah. yeah All right. Because they're, they're reaction figures, they, they cost a bum. How much is the uh, blanco? I want a tenner on it, but tenor. I'll do it to you for eight because you bought loads of stuff. Yeah. Gear, didn't you? Yeah. I'll tell you what, yeah. I'm going to put them two together. <laughs> and uh, anything to round it up to 15? Uh, no, no, no. I've got. Uh, what are we on at the minute? 30. 30. Yeah. Got some. Like if you're on the knickknack store. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We've got that guy all still, and they probably sold that. Uh, uh, yeah, guy always. You got a good memory. Yeah. <laughs> How about this? I bought this off from last time. Oh, that last time. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's sick. That is sick. Like, like, uh, it's got like a yellow, there Head he is, right there. Wicked. There you go. 15? <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, mate. Yeah, Wicked. perfect. Awesome. No, nothing wrong. Gonna have to uh, come back up here later, I think. Yeah. People just moving around. Yeah. How much in your games? This is pound. Pound each? Yeah. I didn't even know I had all these games. Uh, I don't know, what's he got? Try over to you. Yes, Scott, how you doing? How are you? you alright? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Found anything? I expected like the sun to be out yeah, now, and it ain't, do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's a tricky one. But there is still people setting up, that's the thing. That's the thing. There's loads of people still coming yeah. in as well. Oh, jiggly bar. Three, four, I gave her... Three quid? Mm, what is the Luigi? Come on, how much is it? Come on, give me some prices, man. Give me some prices. Oh, they're already written on there. Jesus Christ. I ain't getting no deals from you, am I? <laughs> How much in the games, mate? Game. Yeah. Oh, flew out. All right, Jedi. Street Seater. Five as each. Five as each. Star Trek. Are they even complete? No. <laughs> I'll show you your Pokemon cards. Um, we're doing a 50p each. 50p each. Mm. 
Yeah. So do I. What's up, mate? What's my one? It's only a pick. I don't have a picture of you being in the cellar. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take like all the... Yeah. Yeah. Sting. Yeah. Who's a me boy? Toy yeah. boys. No, this is meant to be no. Goldberg. Oh, like oh, oh yeah, that is meant to be Stone Cold. Is that Vincent Man? <laughs> I think that looks like Justin Crowe. Yeah, it does a little bit. So I'm here with uh, one up retro gaming now right. on Twitter. Oh look, <laughs> look who we found! Look who we bloody found! <laughs> I thought you'd gone. Oh, I might have one little. One little. Around. I was either that or go Gravesend. Yeah. Know, and I can't be bothered to drive anywhere. Yeah. Um, for anything else? I thought we you boys. I was saying it's a mask. It's an evil mask. Dang, but the you know. game. What's that? Is that the game? That Wii game. Is that in there, mate? I don't want to snap it. Is it in there? Right, what's in there? What's in there? Have a little ganders. No one look. No way. Look at this. I can rain, man. I don't think the correct distance in there. So there might be like two and one in that. Oh yeah. Odyssey, and it's got anything in the. No, in there. It's got some arcade game in there. That's all right. A um, couple of Xboxes off this guy. Yeah. But. Comics and figures. Oh, it? nice. Nice. Yeah, there's some nice little things in there. Deadpool and I don't know. Wicked. Nice. Nice. Right. Pound each. Pound each? Yep. Alright, can I get a couple of them? And. Rogue, innit? Thank you. Eight pound, that is. Let go. How much are they? Excuse me, how much are the games in that? Um, I don't know. Oh, Xbox games. Pound each? Yeah, pound each. Pound each. Alright. One. Two. Yep. Yeah, Three. Yeah, Three. Chopping in it. Nah. You can have that if you want. Six was one game. Mm. I'm sure. You get any? I'll get a couple. Yeah, alright, I'll get these four. And we're back. So, just got back from Pen and Place Boot Fair and it was busy today. Bloody hell, there's a lot of people there, a lot of sellers, a lot of buyers. Met some really cool people today. Met uh, James from One Up Retro Games on Twitter. That's his handle, One Up Retro Games. Make sure you follow him. Get some mad pickups, man. This guy gets some. I was actually looking at his one of his Twitter uh, posts like a couple of days ago because he got this like massive like lot of like VHS tapes that like all for free on Facebook Marketplace, and he found one in there. It's worth like a hundred quid. So like really good to meet you, James, today. Um, and yeah, it's good to go hunting with you for a bit. Like saw Dan as well, saw Jason, saw Scott. Do you know what I mean? Like Scott, nice one for buying some Game Boy Advance with me, uh, games with me earlier. Uh, my sister was actually selling at the booth fair today, and uh, I bought a few things down there to sell. Had a Mega Drive console, had a load of Game Boy Advance games. Uh, Altin, uh, yeah, nice one for buying those games off me as well. And uh, yeah, I've got some really cool pickups today, man. Really, really good pickups. So. Let's go through them. Let's start with the Pokemon cards, eh? Hot at the moment, aren't they? 
So we've got a Lowland Raichu, we've got Pavilion, we've got Venomoth. All these are individually in, in these like little cases, really cool. I've uh, got Machamp, I've got Lurantis, I've got Lucario, I've got Dark Weezing, I've got Raichu, I've got Regis, I've got Deancey, I've got Gengar, I've got Vaporeon, I've got Milotic, and we've got Dark Hypno. So I think there's 14 there and the guy wanted 50p each so i gave him six quid so six pounds for all those cards i think most of them are worth about a pound two pound three pound each but you know these are the kind of things that you sit on now you know these are this is the new crypto eh? <laughs> no, i'm joking but yeah it's really nice really cool to get all these uh pokemon cards then we've got a bunch of games here as well um got mike tyson's boxing on the ps2 all these games are complete and all in pretty good condition as well make sure i've checked them all today um, so we've got Mike Tyson's Punch, punch Up, we've got Star Wars The Force Unleashed, uh, yeah it's complete as well, it's quite hard to get one open actually I remember earlier, it's like trying to force it open not trying not to break it, um, but yeah those, those are both a pound, and this was not 34 99 not 29.99, but one pound, that's SSX on tour and then it's boxed, um, unfortunately this isn't worth very much, um, but it's complete and uh, I don't have an Xbox so I just buy these for fodder just in case they're worth anything in computer change but this one unfortunately is not but this one is this is Assassin's Creed Black Flag Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and this one goes for £7 exchange computer exchange again it's complete I was actually really surprised by this one I didn't think it would be worth that much at all because I know that a lot of Assassin's Creed games have like, gone down in value but I thought with it being an Xbox One game hopefully we'll have some value Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox 360 worth about 3 quid gets all the bloody time then we've got a uh, Lego movie video game uh, this one's worth about £3 exchange as well paid a pound for it so I think even maybe 50p uh, so that's that was, that's be really good for exchange product and then we've got uh, Dance Central which is a Kinect game on the Xbox 360 it is sealed I did accidentally break it but it's worth absolutely nothing anyway so I'm really bad I'm not really about that so now I've got a, a GameCube game holder. So uh, someone thought it was for UMDs, but no, it's, for, it's definitely for GameCube games. You can see the size of this. The UMDs would be would fit in there to wouldn't fit in there snug. Do you know what I mean? So it's made by Logic Free as well, which make a lot of third-party Nintendo accessories and stuff. So that was only 50p. So that's quite cool. For get any loose GameCube games, got a little Yoshi. That was a pound from one of my regular sellers. I think it's 50p actually. Yeah, I think it's 50p. No, it's pound. No, it was pound. It was pound. Uh, I think her name's Teresa. So yeah, thanks for that, Teresa. Off the same seller, I got um, this Blanca, which Ben got like last time out uh, from Pedum. And uh, I really wanted it as well. So he saw it first before, but I got it this time. I've got a little Guile figure as well. This is a Funko Pop figure. Oh no, this one's not Funko Pop. This one's Kid Robot. That one's Funko Pop. Um, I think this one was a pound. And I've got Scorpion. Funko Pop as well. I've got the Sub Zero just above me there that corresponds with this series, uh, and, I, and I got it off the same setup because he had this one last time. I didn't buy it because I was a bit thin on the budget, but this time I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it. So I've got the Scorpion one there. Uh, then I've got these. I think they're Marvel. Yeah, I've got these like Marvel figurines, these collectible figurines. This is um, Magneto. It's only a pound. This was actually quite heavy, so this one like can. To, you know, it's been quite well made, and uh, we've got um, Jean Grey uh, in her Phoenix form, um, and that was a pound as well. And that's like it's really cool, like, I really like that. Um, both for a pound, uh, we've got some like little McDonald's toys here, uh, and like they're really old. I mean, we've got like the hamburger in a little car, uh, got a hamburger on a bicycle, we've got what looks like a megaphone. I don't know. Maybe I should put that one off. Um, then we've got a, what looks like a, I don't know, whatever. And then uh, there was, yeah, this my book. It's like inflatable, but I thought it was like armbands, like swimming armbands or something, but no, it's a Ronald McDonald to the rescue book. And like, 
but it's made you can have it in like the pool or something you know like i've never seen it before but if you've ever seen this before let me know in the comments because like if you remember this when you were growing up because i don't remember this i don't remember this toy at all um but yeah another one I've got a super mario maker book uh which i think gives you tips and guides on how to make levels um i think this came with a wii u version or oh, it's just got random random like i don't know just images it looks like doesn't really look like there's any like information in there it's just people's levels i think which is cool but uh, yeah for, for a pound all day long um what else did i get here uh i think that's it oh i've got some sweets some ready-made sweets for a pound i think that's it uh i don't i can't remember how much i spent i really don't know how much i spent i'm not i'm not gonna work it out either because i, I sold a load of things as well so like I probably made about 65, 70 pounds in sales and probably spent about 30, 40 in total maybe. Um, but yeah, today was a great haul and like really met some cool people today. And yeah, can't wait to go tomorrow as well because tomorrow is Bank Holiday Monday. So um, really looking forward to going tomorrow and hopefully getting some more cool stuff to show you. So um, if you like that, put a like in the thumb below. Um, hit the subscribe button, the little bell for more videos that are coming out in the future because there's going to be loads coming out. Weather's getting better. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.